Working and living in the mountains is a dream goal of mine, but it's by no means an easy task. And there are some days where I do feel like giving up. Hi, this is Matt from Bramski Vlogs. Before the global pandemic, I had worked three seasons across France, Austria and Japan, all on a journey to build a full-time career in the mountains. But as each winter has ended, I found myself back at square one. And with the ongoing global COVID outbreak, I struggle to get to where I want to be. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the frustrations of trying to build a ski career. So let's jump in. Firstly, at the age of 27, nearly 28, I don't know what I want to do. I don't have a role or a particular destination in mind. Throughout my life though, I've never been afraid to try new things or go to new places. And as a result, I am quite flexible and can easily adapt to new jobs. I'm always looking to learn new skills. The downside to that is that at times I have too much choice and I struggle to focus on one thing in particular for a long time. All I know is that from the first time I remember being in the mountains, I've never wanted to leave that environment and I've been determined ever since to find a way to be in that setting all year round. That's about the only thing that's remained constant. That and uh, this YouTube channel actually. My second point is about short seasons. There are not many 12 months of the year jobs going in mountain resorts, especially for a foreign worker. Now, that is because tourism in these destinations is limited to seasonal periods, and the need for guest facing roles is very much limited to the summer and winter months. Not the case in the autumn and the spring, where these towns often go very quiet. I've struggled with summer work that accompanies uh, my winter work in a certain destination. Covid has also played its part in that, as was the case in Japan. Uh, you can catch what happened uh, of my time there in the card up here. I will say that during this summer back here in the UK, I've really enjoyed my time so far working in a craft beer and gin bar. So perhaps that's a way forward in the summer months if I can get back out to the mountains. Following on from that previous point, the seasonal work that is available doesn't pay very well. Now I have talked about how much I earn on a season in a previous video and if you want to know more about that in detail, you can watch the video up here. In the long term, it is not sustainable unless you live a very limited lifestyle. Frankly, it doesn't give you enough of a financial platform to build on to launch your career. Now. Anyone will tell you that many people go out and do this seasonal work for the experience and less about earning a living. But from my experience, I can tell you that everybody who goes out there and works these jobs are some of the hardest working, the passionate and the most thick skinned people I know. And frankly, I've always felt that they deserve more. Point number four is no clear path of progression within these companies. Working in Alpine tourism is not like any other industry. There are very little, if any, leadership programs, graduate schemes or internships. Now, in fairness, you would only find these in the large tour operator companies. And that's because a lot of the businesses that operate within these destinations are small to medium enterprises. So there are no ladders to climb. I've learned already that those within managerial and direct positions have been around for such a very, very long time. So for me to get to where I want to get to, it's going to take patience, perseverance and persistence. But it's frustrating all the same. The fifth point is about COVID. Travel restrictions imposed due to COVID have flattened the travel and tourism industry globally. Thousands of businesses have gone under and thousands more jobs have been lost. For two winters in a row now, mountain destinations have been severely affected in such a way that employers cannot plan ahead and employ workers. Now, whilst recruitment seems to be going ahead as normal this year, the global travel arrangements remain in a state of flux, which in turn has meant that holidaymakers are not confident in booking for this year. And as such, employers do not know what work will be coming and so they cannot employ people. There is too much uncertainty. And finally, Brexit, almost an afterthought because of COVID, but how it affects the European ski industry is already starting to be realized 
Companies are no longer hiring UK workers due to the extensive red tape that wasn't ironed out during the Brexit negotiations. Now, in short, companies are saying that they will be hiring local workers or people with EU passports because the visa arrangement now for UK workers costs, in their eyes, too much time too much money but then also it isn't valid for the full length of a season now this is a massive grievance because everybody who works within the industry knows how important uk workers are to the local tourism and the experience of the holiday makers it all plays into the reasons of why i've diverted my attention now to canada but perhaps that's another video for another day so there you go guys those are my frustrations and my question to you the audience is should i continue with this career path people close to me at times have said that i have very high expectations far too high and perhaps they are right there are times where i have thought of quitting this journey um, and just going and finding a different career but i'm at my happiest when i'm living in the mountains um Thanks very much for watching today, guys. I've shared a lot with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit like this video, subscribe also, and hit the notification button to keep up to date with all future content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.